Welcome to Mumbai. I got up this morning at 8 o'clock. I met Eduardo. He taught me this beautiful, traditional, Indian classical piece of music. And now, my first stop is Dobigat, the biggest hand-washing salon in the world. Generally, the rickshaws, the tuk-tuks are really cheap. One euro for a 40-minute ride. And the Uber I ordered is about four euro. And that is a 45-minute ride also. Namaskar. China. So. God. It's a term that refers to a place where there are a lot of washers present. Of course, everybody wants to be my guide now. I'm local man, sir. It's the live here. No, no, no. I'm okay. sorry. It's the no other people allowed inside. Oh, of course, of course, you're allowed inside. I'm sorry. This is the free bridge. Is the free charge? Yeah, he wants 300 rupees from me to be allowed access here. I offered him. 50 just in case he's telling the truth. The people live here? Yeah, 6,000 people. Big area, 2 kilometers around. 2 kilometers around? Yeah. 6,000 people live here and work here. Some of them start as early as 5 o'clock in the morning and then they work as long as 3 a.m. in the morning. So this was built in 1890. It's 133 years old. Spin dry right here. Clothes are also getting sun dried. What a place. One family, one box. All right. So people live here and wash the clothes. That's pretty crazy. These are all homes right here. People live in these little shacks and work here. Hello. 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 Wow. What a place. Something to get used to, huh? We are very privileged in Europe. Hello. The ironing department. Oh wow, look at that. Hospital chemical. Yeah, it smells weird in here. That's for sure. Wow. Fumes are intense in here. Wow. Oh, iron. The high weight. Right, right. Yes, the seven kilogram one time clean working fast, one minute, one piece. Oh, yeah, one minute, one piece. Yeah. It's all surrounded by these massive skyscrapers. Sun drying. Sun drying, yeah. All Mumbai washing here. Yeah. Right. Hotel, hospitals, railway, laundry, everything Mumbai. Oh, yeah. Same Everybody same washes same. their clothes here. Yeah, name. Right. Same, same. Okay. Yeah. How much do you earn when you uh, when you work here? Uh, per day, 200, 300 per day is the selling. Okay. Four euros so a day? One, per month, one family, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. Okay. Separate, separate. Per month? Per month. So, yeah, 9, okay. 9,000, 10,000. So, like 100 euro a month, yeah, basically. Yeah, 300. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what that translates into in India, but for Europe, that's ridiculously little and you work up to 23 hours a day. So Dobies are the people that work here. It's a name for a person that washes clothes. Factory washing, new one. Oh, they also have machines now. Yeah, okay. Machine clothes. Okay. Separate is the top, clean is the tables. Top. Right, right, right. So using table is the dog. The machine clothes is the new shirt. So one family, one box here. Yes. 
टोल साइड एरिया बॉयलिंग वाटर यूजिंग हॉस्पिटल केमिकल लाइन राइट इट्स वेरी लॉन्ग लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस फोर्टीन के स्मॉल स्मॉल इट लुक्स लाइक समथिंग इन स्टार वॉर्स or Mad Max or District 9 or something like that. So supposedly he let me into a worker's entrance and he gave me what he said is a private tour and now I'm heading to the official tourist viewpoint. You don't necessarily want to be a chicken in India or most places in the world. Another fun fact about the cows in India is they use them for dairy so they get basically raped, forcefully impregnated and then the babies get taken away from the moms like everywhere in the world and after milking the hell out of the mothers they just set them free and that's why you see so many cows on the streets of India. I've seen relatively little of them in Mumbai so far. Have you ever seen snow? Yeah. You know snow, you've seen it. In Mumbai, every day, on average, eight people get pushed out of moving trains and die. Isn't that crazy? Next, I'm going to show you the gateway of India. I got to say, man, Uber really works great in India. People just show up right away, take it for a little money, it's safe. Nobody tries to scam you. Go with Uber when in doubt. It's not as loud, less fumes, and you register it and everything's fine. Jay what? Jay Karnataka. Jay Karnataka. Whatever that means. Jay Baloki. Karnataka. People are awesome, friendly, very curious, of course. So yeah, I picked a bad day. Today is Navy Day celebration, and that's why the Gateway Vinya is closed. Well, this is it. <laughs> I am now in the lobby of the famous Taj Hotel, opposite from Gateway Vinya. I sneak my way into the elevator. Normally, you need a room card, and there were people in here before, so I took that opportunity to take a ride with them. And now I'm going to the top floor. catch a view of the gateway of india so here you go this is the legendary gateway of india 42 meters tall it looks a lot like yeah doesn't it look a lot like the art de triomphe in paris a lady was asking me if i stay at the hotel i just said yes assuming that she wouldn't ask me further questions because i would be pretty impolite and she didn't i feel like in mission impossible or something just sneak my way into one of the most prestigious hotels despite quite a level of security I'm now at Mumbai's famous boulevard the 3 km banana shaped marine drive often referred to as a queen's necklace because of its glowing string of street lights glowing in the dark at night Michelle sure. mm. मेरी नाम नादर है नादर नादर यस आप कहां से हम मुंबई से गोंडी 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 नस्ता तिवारी शोम शोइम शोइम मजा तिवारी शाहरुख सर किन द फिंगर आई लाइक दैट शाहरुख सर ही इज लुकिंग वेरी ब्यूटीफुल नो ओह या टोटली People are so curious. It's really cool, man. Kind people. Everybody's interested. Not only because I'm a Westerner, but also, of course, because I look like a rock star. <laughs> How you guys doing? Got it. All righty, we are at Shafadi Beach. Mostly locals again. Not even one tourist, to be honest. <laughs> Let's see what Pub Baji tastes like. This guy is just sleeping right opposite from me. I haven't even seen him. All right, this is my first Indian street food experience. It's like a biryani, oh, pretty spicy. Very tasty. Check out this Mumbai sunset. Packed with locals, just like Yuhu Beach.
I have no idea what this means, but it looks awesome. So far, I got nothing bad to say about Mumbai. Really enjoy it, despite masses of people and the pollution and the chaos and the noise. Yeah, very grateful for the past two days. Thank you, universe. Thank you, life.